player of the week? Uh, it was a really, really cool honor. Um, you know, it, was, it was an honor to be given that award, and uh, you know, I mean, as cliche as it sounds, you know, I owe it to my team. They, they did a great job and put me in a position, in a position to, to be successful. Have you watched video of the game? I've obviously watched film. But did you watch the broadcast of the game, or did you watch game film only? Um, I've watched the game film. I've seen a couple parts of the of the actual clip, so that's that's kind of cool. Jake, take us just through what happened at halftime when you knew you were going in, and just what it was like to get back on the field since Nevada. Yeah, I mean it was great to just get back in the game. You know, first of all, just to just to get back in action, and then things started rolling, and then uh, you know it got fun from there. Did you think about the ankle at all once you got on the field, or was that something you worried? Can I plant? You know, you know what I'm saying? No, no, it was, it was good. It was good. <laughs> you and Isaiah obviously had a lot of chemistry, and we've seen that before. What was that like being out there with him again? He does a great job, and he did a great job on Saturday. You know, I was able to to put the ball in, in his general vicinity, and, and he made some great plays. He got open well, and uh, I think he did a great job. I think all the receivers did a great job. What about the little one-handed catch he had for the touchdown early? What talk about that one? I didn't actually see it on the on the field. He kind of went out of my field of vision, and so I saw that the ref put his hands up. So I was like, "All right, cool, touchdown." And I looked up at the jumbotron, and I saw it. And I looked at Isaiah was on the sidelines by then. I was like, "Dude, you're gonna be SC number one." That was crazy. <laughs> like, so I, I didn't see it, but that was an amazing catch. Did you give Timmy a hard time after the game for missing you on a receiving touchdown? I told him today was the first time I talked to him about it. I wasn't really that upset about it at the time because I was just ready for the next play and trying to trying to get in the end zone, and then I've had time to think about it, so I let him know. I was a little upset with him today, but no, it's fine. How's the ankle feel this week? It's good. It's just, you know, continual uh, just improvement and, and trying to just keep it going in the right direction. Does it feel a little bit better after, uh, after getting on the field, kind of like knowing that even with some limited mobility, you are still kind of good to go out there and play? Yeah, it was kind of just cool to get out there and just see where I could push myself and, and see what I could do and, and what I couldn't do. So it's good to know right now. And like I said, just continue to try to improve. Where does that comeback rank for you, Jake? Oh, that was you know the funnest funnest game I've been a part of. It was it was great. It was an amazing feeling. For you personally, just knowing what you've been through with injuries last year and then part of this year, how special of a moment was that for you when you were able to lead your team back and you know be able to celebrate with your teammates and get that win? Yeah, I mean, it, it was it was an amazing feeling. It was something I'll, I'll never forget, and yeah, that's pretty much it. What's it like to have a, a group of wide receivers? Because, I mean, it doesn't seem like it seems like all of them were able to, to, to make some good moves and get open for you. Yeah, they, they always do, you know, in, in all the practices and scrimmages. I, I have confidence in what they do. It's something that, that I know, and, and we have a good chemistry that way, and we were able to put it on display there on Saturday. How often are you just throwing the ball to Isaiah and just thinking, I, if I throw it to him, it's a 50-50 chance he's going to get it? Yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a saying you hear a lot is it's a 50-50 ball, and, uh, you know, he's kind of a guy that I feel like your chances are better than 50-50 if you give him a shot, and so he usually comes down to them. We, we usually see Jonathan, a lot of us see him just kind of flat line, you know, not too emotional. How What was he like in the locker room? After? I've seen a few pictures. What, what was he like in the locker room? Yeah, I, I got in there kind of late, and I walked in, and I kind of walked through the crowd a little bit, and next thing I know, I ran into Coach Smith jumping up and down, and he was fired up, and so it was really cool to see him like that because, you know, like you said, we're, we're both, I'm kind of similar. I'm pretty even keel most of the time, and so it was pretty cool to see him, him hyped up like that. That wasn't something you'd seen from him often. No, 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 definitely not. What about, what about USC? Excited for the opportunity. You know, they're obviously a, a great team, a ton of talent, and they're coached well. So it's it's something we're going to have to keep building off of last week and, uh, you know, have to prepare for them as best we can.